What's the best camera for making travel videos? This is a question I get all the time. I've got my particular preference, but what I want to share with you is actually what other YouTubers than just me use as their camera of choice and why. So Chris, the other question you might be asking right now is why are you in this ridiculous getup? Look, it's not a ridiculous getup. This is traditional Korean hanbok, and I'm at a YouTuber event in Seoul, South Korea with a whole bunch of other YouTubers, and we were all asking each other, what camera do you use? Why do you use it? Uh, and so many of the YouTubers here were happy to share with you what camera they use, why they use it. You'll also hear them talk about tripods they use and microphones, because those are important as well. And I'll wrap it up after we hear from them. I'm Allison. My channel is Allison Anderson. And I have a few cameras I like to use. My little run around everywhere vlogging camera that I'm using right now is the Canon M50. I just started using this, but I like it because it's quite small. It has the fully articulating screen. You can get different lenses for it, and it also has an external mic mount, which is something that the G7X that I was using before didn't have, so this is why I switched. And then when I want to take like nicer photos or like do uh, 120 frames per second slow-mo, all of that, I like my Fuji X-T2 because this is entirely weather sealed. So like Canon, Sony, Nikon, a lot of those brands, they're only rated to freezing, like 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. Fuji is rated to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So I can get quite a bit colder. And because it's weatherproof, I can be out in snow, rain, freezing temps, and it works. And then I also have a Mavic uh, Pro drone and a GoPro Hero 6. I found this on Amazon because there's like the Manfrotto one that everyone uses, but it's only about this size. I found this on Amazon for like $18 or something. I don't even know the brand, King Joy. It's some random brand, but it completely extends to that. And then it has a ball head top so I can put my camera on it, extend it out, use it like this. I can make it a tripod down here and then it just collapses back down to something really small. And I think that's it for the, the camera ensemble that I use. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm Tiffany and our channel is Tiffin Tiffany Case. Case. And so we use the DG, DJI Osmo Pocket. And this is like our new favorite travel camera because it's so small, so discreet, but the minus things about it is that it doesn't zoom, the audio is not that great, and uh, what else? <laughs> and the, uh, the picture quality. Low light's terrible. Yeah, low light's not that great. But yeah. other than that, it's our, it's my favorite camera. Yeah. I like using this. And my favorite camera is actually the one you're holding right now. It's the AX53, I believe. And uh, it has an amazing zoom. So like, when you're traveling, you're making traveling videos, it's you can like literally sit in one spot at a cafe and get like so many different uh, variety of shots, you know, versus like having a wide lens like that Osmo. Yeah. It's like you literally have to walk up to everything personally and yeah, we actually would have brought that camera, but we were doing a work trip before this trip, so we actually needed this camera and these types of lenses. So and it's so heavy. And yeah, it takes we so much don't time usually like lenses. traveling with this kind of camera. But what is this though? Uh, this is an A7S, and uh, great camera. I love Sony, the Sony line. So all my cameras are mainly Sony cameras. So, um, so yeah, we use a, a variety of cameras. Yeah, we also have a Mark III. Right? Canon Mark. Oh, it's a Canon, yeah. yeah. Canon Mark III. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> those are our cameras. Is that one just for pictures? Um, this is for video too. Yeah. So I, I actually don't, we Keith never do never pictures. Never takes photos. Pictures are boring. <laughs> you can't monetize pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you know how. True. But, but we you don't like end to up travel using with that this. One, that one's heavy. Yeah, this is heavy. I, I, I like the X53 and then the. Uh, uh, the A6300. Yeah, A6300 yes. we also have. And uh, RX100. That, those, those three cameras we alternate mo mainly for our vlogs. So. Yeah, the Osmo Pocket's a new addition. So yeah. And this one out. is just a rarity for us. <laughs> my name's Eastiana, and my YouTube channel is my name as well. I either use the Canon 80G because I've had it for a while, and it's I love the coloring on it. I use it with the Sigma lenses, um, and it's not like that expensive. But so if I ruin it when I'm traveling, like I, it's easier to get another one rather than bringing a really more expensive camera. It does the job, but when I have like really important shoots, I will use the 5D Mark IV because it does 4K, and I just love the coloring of Canon colors, so I'm a Canon girl. 
channel name is Samuel and Audrey, and um, you can find us just by typing in our names. So I use the Panasonic Lumix GH5, and this is actually my favorite travel camera that I've ever owned. One of the reasons I really like it is it does some really cool slow motion recording at 180 frames a second, so I can really get some nice crisp slow motion um, footage. I also really like the image stabilization. It has five axes, so it means like when I'm, my hands are a little bit shaky, the, the footage still comes out quite nice. And then I pair that, that's the body, I pair that with a 12 to 60 lens, and that allows me to, uh, to get like a nice wide angle, but also some telephoto as well because I find that really important. I like to be able to get details, like close-in shots of, of, of people or buildings and whatnot. And then in terms of audio, at the moment I'm using a Rode VideoMic Plus, and I find that it's just a nice versatile microphone. It's um, so much better than the, the microphone you get with just the camera only. It gives you a, like a much better sound and it's directional, so it doesn't pick up all the background noise. And yeah, this is, a, this is one of my favorite kits. And I just have a little grip. I just picked this up actually a couple weeks ago. It's a Manfrotto tripod. And this just gives me some versatility, like especially when I'm filming by myself. I can kind of hold my camera out like this. And I, I normally make videos with my wife, so we don't really need the grip as much. But uh, for these solo trips, it really comes in handy. I'm Mira. My uh, username is Funny Pilgrim, and you can find me on uh, YouTube or Instagram. I use this Canon uh, G7X. I have to read it. <laughs> um, I like it because it's so small, it's so handy. That's what I love the most. I just um, flip it out and you can flip the screen and see yourself. That's um, perfect if you're alone and nobody's helping you out. You can see if you're in focus. And I love um, Canon um, for the, the um, colors. They're very um, true to color to the real color. That's why I love um, what I, I love about this camera. And I also use my smartphone for pictures. Um, yeah, that's it. I use the Panasonic Lumix GH5. So my friend Sam actually recommended it to me. The reason that I love it is because I'm shooting in 4K now. So I shoot in 4K. Uh, the colors are super vivid. So it like really pops out. You know, as you see, it's like really, really colorful. And then I got a few different things here. So I have um, an, a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So this is a really wide lens. So it really helps me when I'm shooting alone. I shoot alone most of the time. So I can do this and it's perfect. It gets everything. It's not too close. Cause if you get anything a little closer, it's gonna always be hard to get, you know, you have to push it farther away. Then I use a, uh, you know, Manfrotto like <coughs> mini tripod. So it's great cause it helps me use it like, a, like sort of like a gimbal, right? But then I can also set it up on a table like this to get shots. So I can do a lot of food shots like this, you know, food, point it down, zoom in, very easy. And then I have a road mic. There's a few different road mics. I use this one because I don't want the one that has batteries. You know, I've had a little bit of a problem with that, run out of battery and then you don't get any sound. So I like this a lot better. And yeah, it's a really awesome camera. It runs, I think this is 1800, 1000, uh, 150 and then like 100 right here. So roughly under $3,000, you get the whole, the whole kit. And uh, yeah, so this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. Where have you been? Hello, my name is Jordan. My channel name is Jordan Twally, which is just my name. And I use a Sony A6000. I'm not the most prestige, like YouTuber video person. So I've only had this camera, but this camera has, has had me for like five years. It is durable, it hasn't broken. It doesn't have the best stabilization, but so if you don't care about that, this thing is not gonna, not gonna break on you. And for the price you get, interchangeable lenses, it's pretty good. So yeah, Sony boy. Okay, I also just purchased an A7 III. This is more for photos, uh, which you can see on my Instagram, but I would say that if I got the right lens, this one could be a really good vlogging camera as well. But I would also recommend one that I don't even have, which is the Sony Ace A, RX100. The Sony RX100 is what I think the best vlogging camera, which I don't even have, but maybe one day. Don't mind me in this traditional Korean outfit, but I also use a GoPro with a long selfie stick. This is probably my favorite actually go-to thing because as a traveler that's full-time traveling, it's very hard to compact everything. So it's such a small camera. It actually has great 4K and takes some of the best selfies you'll ever see. Oh, my name's Jay Kim. I'm from South Korea and I'm a professional videographer here. I mostly use like this Sony A7, the Alpha 7 Mark III. 
It's a really light camera and it has a really good color system, so I really like using it. And since it has like a lot of lens choices, it's really cool to use it. Right now I'm using the 2470, which has a good stabilizer and it works well with the camera as well. And I mostly use the gimbal system. It kind of helps me stabilize the video a little bit better. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a little bit heavier than like just monopause and like those things, but I really do like to use them with this because it, it produces a smooth video like of me just walking around and like people walking and moving or running even. Oh, my microphone is also Sony, the UWP-D11. I think I'm not quite sure about the model right now. And it, it's a pin mic, but it works really well. Even with the like noise behind you, like it catches the voice very well. So this is like probably one of the lightest combination that I carry around while I do my travel videos. Okay, so then there's me. What do I use? Well, you heard Tiffin Case mention it and I couldn't show you this in Korea because well, I was using it to record myself and to record them, so I'm shooting this at home, but I use this camera. It's a Sony FDR AX53. What I like about this camera, it's a 4K camera. As you saw with many people, everybody likes a flip out screen, so this has the flip out screen so you can see yourself. I also like that it has um, no lens cap. It just has this thing that opens and closes as soon as this opens. It's also got like a 20x zoom lens so you can zoom pretty good on it. And microphone, you've heard audio is really important. Uh, I've got this microphone. It's the Sony ECMW1M. So it's got two pieces. It's got this piece, which is the microphone, and then it's got this piece, which is the receiver that goes on top of the camera. The nice part about this, this takes just one AAA battery. This gets powered from the hot shoe on top of the camera. Now you'll see this. I always have this clipped on my um, bag or my shirt. You saw it clipped on people in this video. That AAA battery lasts all day and it picks up sound pretty good and I can be pretty far away with that. And then what do I hold it on? Well, if I'm traveling with my wife, OC Girl, then she'll be holding the camera. If I'm traveling by myself, then I use a Joby Gorilla Pod um, that has a little smart release plate on the top so I can just take the camera off it, put it back on, and I can hold the camera just out like this. Well, hey, so now you know what everybody here loves for their camera so you can decide what camera is best for you. Really, it's a personal preference, but realize it's three things. It's the camera, the microphone, and something you use to hold it on, easy to carry around so that you can go on travel. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out some of the channels of the people you just heard from. I'll put links in the description below, and up here you'll find links to videos that I made on this trip that feature a lot of these other YouTubers in more traditional travel settings. Well, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.